Hey, kumusta na? Let's talk about courage. Natatakot ka ba? Do you feel afraid? Maraming mga bagay na kinakatakutan natin. One is, of course, COVID. Another would be, we're afraid of our future. Uh, siguro takot din tayo na hindi natin mapanindigan yung mga bagay na kinukomit natin, right? Meron talaga mga pagkakataon sa ating buhay. Instances in our lives that we have to be courageous. Courage is between two extremes. On one end is being reckless. Yung padalos-dalos yung decision, hindi pinagdasal, hindi pinag-isipan. Recklessness, kasi ramdam mo that you have to do it, then you just go and do it. And turns out, it's gonna be a wreck. Diba? Kasi reckless nga. No, the other extreme would be yun namang fear or doubt. Diba? Yung natatakot ka sobra, hindi ka na makagalaw, you're paralyzed. So, in between recklessness and fear is there. Courage. Courage is like yung natatakot ka, pero ginagawa mo pa rin. Kasi kailangan. I wanna share with you three C's that can that can help us out in being courageous. The first C is a calling. I wrote a song in 2004 and it's called Walk on Water. It goes, I will walk on water, Lord. You have called me. You have called my name. And when I wrote that, yun yung panahon na I felt so unworthy. I felt so incapable. But still, I felt I was called. Kaya in life, I think we're, we're called to walk on water. Speaking about calling, di ba pag may tumatawag sa atin at nakalagay unknown number, parang kinakabahan ka, sino kaya itong tumatawag? Di ko kailan. Pero pag may, may pangalan, di ba? We, we right away answer it. No problem. When uh, we feel like we're called to something, we, we think, si Lord nga ba to? ang tumatawag. And I remember si Peter. Uh, he was called by Jesus to walk on water. Alam niyang si Jesus ang tumawag. Siya ay tumugon. Kasi it was Jesus who called. And kahit na si Jesus yung tumawag, no, he walked for a while on water, then he started to sink. But here's the, the assurance that, that God will lift us up. Kahit nalulunod tayo minsan, He will lift us up out of that sinking situation. And you know, the Latin word for courage is actually C-O-R, core, which is heart, di ba? Nanggagaling sa ating puso. No? Through prayer, through discernment, through having that conviction. Ayan, that's, that's really courage. To have the heart to do what you're called to do, to do everything out of love. If, if you're called to do something, if you're called for marriage, for priestly vocation, or for the religious, you know, go ahead and be courageous. If you're called to spread a message, if you're called to, you know, help other people, because it's your calling, you have to be courageous. Second is that you get to become courageous if you are caring caring for people like I have a family of four kids and I have my wife Ayan, I, I care for them so much that I'd do anything no, I'd be brave for them Kaya, if you care for people you, you become courageous just think about them think about the people you love think about the people you care think about the people you serve especially when you're serving in a ministry you know you become courageous when you care for people Grabe, when you care and love somebody, you'll be willing to go out of your comfort zone. You'll be willing to do the crazy things. Of course, dapat hindi kasalanan. Pag may pagmamahal, if you care, then you'll have courage. Lastly, you become courageous when when you have decided to commit to something. Ayan, no? When, when we commit to something, na, nakakatakot din, di ba? Sabi nila, yung Pag Halloween daw, magsuot ka lang ng t-shirt ng commitment, matatakot na yung iba. No, a lot of people are afraid to commit. Ano ba mga commitments natin? Commitments with our relationships? Commitments at work? Commitments 
in service, di ba? And uh, if we have this solid commitment, talaga, you know, we, we become courageous. We, we decide to do it, regardless of how we feel. And then it takes courage to do things beyond our emotions. Just the fact that you've said yes to something, kailangan natin no, ng, ng courage because commitment is what will bring forth the results. Commitment is what will bring forth the progress in our lives, right? Uh, without commitment, we will just be jumping from one ship to another, one, co one activity to another, uh, one dream to another, right? So stick it out, commit, and be courageous. So yun yung tatlo. The first is remember your calling. Second is think about the people you care for. And third is your commitment. Be solid with your commitment. And that's how you become courageous. So, wag kang matakot. Be fearless. God is with you. Keep being fired up.